Assalam. Assalamualaikum everyone. I am Muhammad Tariq from University Majubwana who is currently study as a PhD student in USIM and I am with my supervisor Professor Madia Dr. Nur Atli. I am presenting about financing to infrastructure contractor by Islamic Banking Indonesia as a descriptive analysis from 2010 to 2020. The background of the study, Islamic banks in Indonesia has been existed for almost 30 years since 1992 and is Islamic Indonesian economic planning until 2024. And also in its structure is currently one priority from Indonesian government. The objective of the study is to study whether the number of contractor and state budget in infrastructure has in line with financing and loan to construction sector from Islamic banks. Market of financing and low interest to construction sector, is it comparable? And also non-profit financing and non-profit loan to construction sector from Islamic banking. And this is the literature review according to Samsudin. Islamic banking is financing all sector including construction. And according to KSI, Indonesia has larger infrastructure construction market compared to ASEAN. And then Indonesia is at the fourth position in ASEAN infrastructure index. And then according to Bina Marga, Indonesia uh, in the year of 2020, Indonesian construction infrastructure do not stop during pandemic, according to our financing, finance is one of contractors' challenge since infrastructure constructor pay first and claim later, according to home. And according to Nugroho, contractor work is unique with limited resources. According to Gandhi's research in finance construction is rare, according to Rashid, Islamic finance constructions is rare. And then according to Fir Masha, Islamic finance research in Indonesia mostly using keyword Islamic banks. And according to OJK, financing Islamic bank to construction sector is at the low position compared to financing from conventional banking. According to Kusumawati, construction sector financing was affected by NPL as a one uh, factor. Uh, and then according to literature search in Scopus and EBSCO with the year searching 2010 to 2021, most of the research that I found are not matched with the objective of the study. And also in Sinta Indonesian part Indonesian database of research, only three papers are related to this objective. And then according to Sukmana, market of financing is one factor that contractor search in financing. And according to Liang, engineer work is risk for funding. The research method that we use is observation by analyzing the available data that is related to Islamic banking and also related to road infrastructure section. And then the analysis, the number of contractor in Indonesia from 2010 to 2020. In 2010, it was 140,000 and then 2014, 129,000 and at the end of 2020 is to 159 companies. The small group is the big contractor, which is only 9%, and the rest are 
small contractor and medium size contractor. <clears throat> this is the state budget in infrastructure 2010 to 2020. In the year of 2017, there are a increasing job up due to the change of focus of our seven presidential in Indonesia. The focus in infrastructure, so they increased the budget by 40% from the average of 20 US dollar million to become 28 and above. Since this uh, figure is converted originally from Indonesia Rupia, <clears throat> so the figure need to refer to Indonesia Rupia. And then also during 2010, 2020, there are establishment of Islamic finance institution. In 2011, the, it was establishment of OJK Sharia and then OJK Sharia published the roadmap for in the Islamic banking 2015, 2019, and then continued 2020 to 2025. And also there was a publication about Islamic economic plan 2014 2019 and then 2019 to 2024 one of the strategy or one of, of the goal is to increase the market of Islamic banking and then different financing to learn in infrastructure sector is not in line with the state budget. If you see the graph in state budget, it was jumped up in the 2017. However, in financing for the contractor, the trend is modestly go up. And then if you see the orange mark in the graphic, that is the value from Islamic banking financing to contractor, which is very low compared to conventional banking loan to infrastructure sector. So the trend is not in line with the number of contractor, which is almost modest movement. And then the trend is also not matched with the financing or the budget in infrastructure. And then uh, margin of financing and low interest. The margin was higher in Islamic banking during 2010 until 2013, and then back to higher margin in 2014 to 2016. Only later in 2017 to present time, the margin is lower. However, this lower margin in Islamic banking financing to contractor also did not attract the funding to contractor. Even the interest from Islamic banking is <clears throat> higher at the later years of the decade. However, the financing is still lower in Islamic banking. And then non-performing financing in Islamic banking is very high lower compared to conventional banking. This figure, like it was more than 7% in 2011 and also 2014, more than 7% also compared to non-performing loan in conventional banking is always below 5%. These figure in Islamic banking are higher compared to not performing loan index in ASEAN. So only this 
is not good performance. So the conclusion that we try to make is small portion Islamic bank financing to construction section is not due to the number of contractor and also <clears throat> not in line with state budget in infrastructure and also not due to the market of financing. This, the same bad condition is Islamic bank has a higher NPF compared to NPL in conventional bank. And these are the references that we are using. And thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.